everybody, my name is Peter with Geeks Trucking. This is Midget with Geeks Trucking. Uh, real name, Brandon. Uh, Santa Elf if you want, it don't matter. You can buy anything, anything small. Half cup, quarter cup, it don't matter. Uh, so we're in North Dakota still. We're heading towards Montana. And then we're going to catch the 15 south off of the 90 into Utah so yeah this is what we're looking at we're on interstate 94 it's straight and boring a couple hills so I decided to do a video to show you my not so favorite type of driving South Dakota is so much nicer than North Dakota yeah, South Dakota is nicer than North Dakota because of the trees alone. The trees in the mountains. So, I guess I'm carrying, we're carrying bean starch today. Never carried bags and bags and bags, big bags of bean starch before. But that's what we're carrying. And they're so paranoid about it that they put a, a steel rope lock on it. Yeah. Like, who the hell's going to sell a 2,000 bag of bean starch? It's not even, you don't even want to make a roux out of it. That's a hot commodity, I guess. Apparently. So, yeah, so, these are, we're in our last few days before going home for Christmas vacation. After this run, maybe one or two, maybe we can squeeze off three runs before we go home. But we'll see. But it is a pretty sunset. Okay. You see those three markings, like the very dark red ones over there? Yeah. They kind of look like the stack. That's awesome. Yeah, that's those are clouds. No, oh, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> that's where the sun drops. Oh, it just dropped. <laughs> it dropped. It did. Ah, topic today. Why not? Since we're we're bored. Flat Earth. Yay or nay? Did you? Flat Earth. Yay or nay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that the Earth is round, but I don't want to offend a lot of our viewers. <laughs> now, I granted you are closer to the ground than most people in the world, except for aviations. Um, how do you know for a fact that the world is brown? Have you ever seen the curve? No, but I've seen other people mimic that curve. Seen other people like for See, instance, there curve. was a, there was a guy who stood in a field with a laser. Uh huh. Uh, pointed that laser to a target that was like 400, 500 yards away. Uh huh. And he drew a line as to where the the laser was supposed to go, but uh -huh. when he actually went there, it was actually a few inches below, or like a few. It wasn't exactly straight. It was below it. The yeah, earth would be a bowl shape. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. So you don't no, believe I... in the flat earth theory? What? No. I... Okay. I guess out of anybody I know, you probably could see the curve better because you're shorter and I'm taller, so I would curve a little bit to you. Yeah. All right, I get that. All right. I don't understand why people believe the um, the flat earth theory. I've been in a plane personally. I've seen going over to Israel. You can see the curve. Um, but what do you all say? Flat earth or golf ball? Or which one sounds better? Oh boy, that, that's a, that took a whole two seconds. I gotta be honest with you. Yeah. If, I'd really like to know the explanation of how the water doesn't just fall off the edges and a flat earth. Because a flat earth still 
U.S. mountains and everything. And Antarctic, Antarctica and North Pole is actually one thing and it's round all around the curves and it's all mountain. Wow. On the edges. I hate that I know that. And in other news, if you ever, I don't, I've never seen this all the way in South Dakota, but this popcorn is amazing. That's called Sweet Chaos. Definitely got to pick some up. Just fucked it up. Whoa! See, that's what happens when you don't pay attention because a freaking midget messes everything up. <laughs> to show you what he's eating. Freaking popcorn. Yeah, but this is good. Elves eat popcorn. Santa elves. Wow. That's awesome. Now, you have to understand, Brandon. Yeah. What does it say the serving size is? Let's, since you brought up your popcorn, uh -huh. let's take a look at that health things about this. How many calories per serving? 150. And how many pieces of popcorn? I don't know, but it's a five servings per container, and I'm going to eat all five servings right now. So, being a midget, that's like ten servings for you, not five. I don't think it works that way. Sure. You gotta, uh -huh. they, they figure it out by standard people. And now, since you're a half pint, <laughs> Uh, wow, look at love zone here. I'm surprised. Me too, and look at all the damn parking. And a marathon. Well, marathon's not surprising, but the loves actually is. Well, yesterday all I saw was Sinclair. Whee! You gotta enjoy the small things out here. You do. Even if it's just a pack of popcorn. So, y'all should, now after uh, John and uh, Brandon being on the truck, you should see how I am as a teammate. I'll rag the shit out of you. Why? Because it's funny. And I'm an asshole sometimes, so there you go. He's just old and grumpy. No, I'm just a grumpy old man. Having fun out here. And enjoying the United States of America before Biden and the Democrats destroy it. But no political talk. I think I'm going to do a video once a day of just driving crap. Random stuff. Just random stuff. Like, did you read anything interesting on CDL Life today? Uh... Since you're the one that reads it, not me, so you can inform yeah. me. What? There's a blizzard going on in the northeast, I'm sure everybody knows. I really but don't. We, you and me don't need to know about the blizzard from CDL Life. We <laughs> live in the northeast. No, listen. Okay. listen. New Jersey is blocking travel. So, so if you're trying to get it, and so if you try to get to... You gotta go around New Jersey if you're trying to get to Rhode Island. But the problem is, is you can't. You can't get to the Northeast without either going through Jersey or Pennsylvania. Well, yeah. And right now, Pennsylvania is shut down. You go upstate New York. You have to go through Mass. Pennsylvania. You gotta cut through uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Or do you? Does New York border one of the Great Lakes? Because if it does, then yeah, yeah you can go that way. Erie. Oh, Lake Erie, that's right. That's in Pennsylvania. Because that's where a pizza uh, delivery guy had a, uh, a bomb strapped to his neck and the cops thought it was a dud and let it go off and his head exploded on national TV. You mean the bank robber. And that's where I delivered a boom to where he got that actually put on. Which was pretty freaking awesome. I didn't realize it at the time. Evil genius. But that was awesome that I was able to go there. So, 
good thing. Brandon, never been to Montana before, and that's where we're heading. So he'll get to see the great state of Montana in the middle of the night. Yeah. This means I won't see shit. Nope. Montana is where I dropped the armored door on my leg. That's why I got a cankle still. A year and a half later, my my foot still hasn't healed right. Oh. Well, let me guess, it's Montana's fault. No, actually, it's the Green Beret's fault. They're the ones that dropped it on me. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know on Montana. Is there something you're not telling me? There is. Okay. You don't need to know everything. I don't. I do know everything. You don't need to know everything. But I have to know everything because I know everything. You know like a tenth of everything. I know a hundred percent of everything I know. You know a hundred percent of the tenth of everything. I know I know a hundred percent of everything I know. <laughs> uh, and of what you haven't forgotten. Well, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Leave my old timers alone. I forgot, what elf are you? Are you a Keebler or a Samson? I, I I guess, I'm guessing the way you're eating, you're a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is, is yeah. it your uh, bake, bakery in a tree in Montana? That's the reason why we're going here? <laughs> Can't let my secret out. I know. You're Barney. A what? Oh, wait. You never watched Barney? Barney. Hmm? You never watched the Flintstones before. Fred, you're Barney. Uh oh. -huh. You're Thelma. Huh? It's Thelma. Uh, I'm Thelma? <laughs> <laughs> no, and that makes you Louise? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So, yeah, yeah. so we're just in, twiddling our thumbs here, being pretty much. Or watch for ice. Oh, I'm watching. I don't see it. Oh, the lakes are frozen. You want to do some ice uh, truck uh, driving? <coughs> ice driving? I'd love to. Yeah, me too. So here's some uh, interesting news. Okay. Over a ton of methamphetamine was was uh, discovered in a truck today in, uh, in Texas. Really? Yeah. It was a 56-year-old Mexican citizen. Huh. Oh, he was attempting to enter U.S. from Mexico through the Isleta port of entry. And he was not arrested. Of course he wasn't. He's illegal. I'm right. surprised we didn't give him, like, the green card. <laughs> and the welfare card and food stamps and say, Welcome to America. Welcome to America. Leave the math over, over there. Yeah. right there, the little white thing right there? That's the moon. Just in case you don't know what it is, that's the moon. Oh. Okay. You think the man on the moon is following us? <laughs> Maybe you. <laughs> he has his eye on you. Uh-uh. He's going to say, hmm, you never had a midget before. He can keep his cheese. Oh no, he wants to sh share his cheese with you. <laughs> roger, roger. Yeah. So, <clears throat> if you're in the Northeast and you're driving in the snow, sucks to be you. Just remember, go slow. 
if you're in Rhode Island, put if your you, hazards on if you're doing 20 below the speed limit. If you're if there's low visibility, so that way there, when Swift starts chasing after you, you realize you're not going that fast. And just remember, if you're in Rhode Island, exit 5B is the only truck stop. The TA, a crap load of parking that fills up real quickly because it's the only truck stop in Rhode Island. I thought your house was the truck stop. I thought you were the truck stop. I'm sorry, I thought a lot of this were at your house. <laughs> it must be pocket size for you. It's still life size in my eyes. So is it a Barbie? <laughs> life size Barbie. It's true for you. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, that's right, people. He wants to make a sex doll out of a <laughs> life size Barbie. I do not. Oh, you're right. You told I'll me the other day it was Ken. <laughs> yeah, life record. size Ken. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for wasting 16 minutes of your life with us. If you have any questions, email me at Peter at Geeks logic.com again peter at geekslogic.com you all have a wonderful day and even though you can't see him and i can barely see him midget is waving goodbye bye, bye.